Radhe 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 Hare Krishna Greetings everyone So today I would like to talk about what we need to do to stay on the path stay on the bhakti path uh, of course that instruction is for all of us and uh, Lord Chaitanya gives us this lovely verse Janada Pisa Nichana Tarora Pisa Hishnana Mani Namanadena Kitnya Sadahadi So I want to chant the holy name of the Lord in humble state of mind Thinking oneself lower than the stone in the street, one should be more taller than a tree, devoid of all sense of false prestige and ready to offer all respects to others. In such a state of mind, one can chant the holy name of the Lord constantly. So, on this path there are troubles and trials, as Srila Prabhupada, I believe, said that when you're in the ocean, certainly there are waves coming, waves pounding you. So these are the waves of illusion. Uh, for the conditioned soul. So there, there are these troubles and trials, they come in different ways, adhyatmic, adibotic, adidaivic, uh, troubles from our own minds and bodies, troubles from the uh, other living entities, uh, and troubles from the environment, the excess of heat and cold and so on. So, Lord Chaitanya is saying, in, in these circumstances, no matter what troubles and trials we face, there is one clear instruction that we should chant the holy name, continue to chant, uh, and how in a humble state of mind, being tolerant, free of all sense of false prestige, and ready to offer all respects to others. So that is a universal instruction, universal eternal instruction for us, uh, how to proceed, how to proceed, what to do. So in all situations, um, <laughs> to avoid all consternation, we need to always remember Sri Krishna, the Lord of love, sweetness and beauty and fascination. So sometimes we may not have a taste uh, for that chanting. That is, of course, not because the chanting is not sweet. Uh, Sri Rupa Goswami says, praise like that, that the holy name is so sweet, he's praying for millions and millions of ears and tongues to taste more and more the sweetness. So the name is sweet, but in the conditioned state, uh, we unfortunately do not have a taste. They give the example of uh, a, a patient who has jaundice. Uh, for him, if you give him sugar candy, rock candy, um, it, it tastes bitter because he's diseased. Not because rock candy is bitter. Rock candy is very sweet. But because he is diseased, he tastes, it tastes bitter to him. But the cure for jaundice is to continue taking the rock candy. And of course, as one becomes cured, then one can actually taste that rock candy is very sweet. So in the same way, for the conditioned soul who, is, who has been averse to Krishna for countless lifetimes, uh, the name, form, quality and pastimes of Krishna are not attractive. In fact, uh, they may taste like poison, as Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita. In the beginning, it, to make this uh, spiritual effort on the path, it may taste like poison, but then he says that uh, as we proceed, it becomes nectar. So this is, of course, a question of faith. We are, for the most part, I certainly am not on that transcendental platform of tasting the sweetness of the holy name. But because we hear from the great souls, um, these are not ordinary personalities, we can understand that. We have maybe had many teachers in our, our life, uh, many people giving us guidance, but none of them can compare to the perfect uh, instruction, the perfect example of Sri Krishna's pure devotees. And they, of course, are devoid of all uh, defects. Uh, that means that their senses are perfect, they do not commit mistakes, they do not cheat, and they are not subject to illusion. So they transmit the perfect message of Krishna perfectly. So we, if we are fortunate, we can see, oh, the Sri Guru, he's not an ordinary person. And that means I can trust him. I can trust him with my soul. <laughs> of course, that will take time. One doesn't immediately feel that. But even some small attraction that, oh, here, yeah, let me hear from this personality. 
He's not some mundane fellow <laughs> looking for profit, fame and adoration. He's not like that. Uh, he's some, some more exalted personality. Let me hear from him. Let me hear from him. Uh, this will be beneficial. This will benef be beneficial. Uh, ultimately, supremely beneficial. It will solve the, the uh, real problem of life, which is the repetition of birth, old age, disease and death. And I will taste the nectar of life everlasting. So wishing everyone uh, the spiritual strength to continue on the path. Um, total dedication and constant practice is required. Param Vijayate Shri Krishna Sankirtana.